I, I grew up with a cousin who was Down syndrome, who my aunt and uncle saw him being abused in a store one day. My uncle punched out the dad, took him to the police, and said, this is ridiculous, this kid's being beaten. He was five years old at the time. And the police says, well, the dad doesn't want him. Mom ran off. You want him? And they said, yes. And they adopted Jeff. So I always knew I wanted to adopt special needs kids. Mm -hmm. In 2019, I was homesick one day. Uh, in summer 2019, I was homesick one day. And the day program my kids were going to pick them up two hours early. I mean, two hours late. late. And then drop them off an hour early. When I went out to talk to the driver about what they had been doing all day, he smelled of alcohol. And yet he's driving my adult kids around, supposedly teaching them something. I was so upset that I started, I went back to work and told my assistant, we're starting a school. She, no, we're not. <laughs> yes, we are. And we opened officially February 1st, 2020. Great timing, right? <laughs> um, and we're completely different. The day programs out there, you know, God love them. They try their best, but they're babysitting, mm -hmm. special needs adults. When I asked my kids what they did all day, Monday they went bowling, Tuesday they went to the dollar movie, Wednesday they walked around the mall, and Thursday was fun day. They did whatever. How is that teaching them? How are they learning anything? How are they learning independent living skills? How are they learning budgeting? How are they learning job skills? How are they learning a trade? Mm -hmm. It's babysitting, and yet my kids are completely capable. They're all high functioning. Uh, there is no excuse why they shouldn't be trained for a job, yet the high schools don't train them because they're special needs. Mm -hmm. So it's up to us parents, but you know, I was in finance. I sure wasn't in this field. My husband's a college professor. He's not in this field. So we started from scratch. We had to learn all the lessons and uh, open February 2020. And we all know what happened March 15, 2020. We all got the close down call. Five minutes later, I got the call, stay open. We had the right licenses. So we were open during COVID. And oh. all these families had no place for their special needs adults to go during COVID. So they all came to skills. We partnered with the Restaurant Association and got our vocational license uh, where we can give vocational training in uh, culinary and baking and give national certifications. First in the country. We were the very first program in the country for that. Uh, we partnered with HBI now where we can give all the OSHA certifications in construction. First in the country for special needs adults. We've now partnered with Microsoft, Canva, and Adobe where we give all of those certifications, first one in the country. We're now working with bringing in manufacturing and vet tech. So we'll have all those programs with certifications for special needs adults. It doesn't cost them anything. It, it, we get our funding through either uh, Pikes Peak Workforce, DVR, or Medicaid to pay for these classes, but nobody's doing it because it's hard. 